So a short video on the yellow barb water feeders. They're similar to the other feeders. Um, these ones use 5 16 inside diameter tubing. Um, I think the main difference with these is they don't use a spring on the inside, an interior spring, and um, they're easier to take apart than some of the other ones. Now this is just a simple setup I did for the video. Um, having the tubing run up to a bucket. You can do this, you can you can put a like a evaporative cooler float in your bucket if you wanted and hook it directly. Um, these use about 10 PSI, so you don't want to hook it directly to your hose and it'll uh, end up blowing out probably the T's and and uh, your rabbits probably can't bite down hard enough uh, for the pressure that's coming out of your direct line. Now into the bucket here I have a barb. If you drill a hole with a half inch drill bit, you can screw this barb right into it. It won't leak, you don't need a silicone it. Um, but here's the the model number for this barb. I got it at Lowe's. I think it was two or three bucks. Um, just something simple. So this is 5 16 inside diameter tubing that I also got at Lowe's. It's also made by Watts. Um, now these these yellow barb nipples they'll come with two springs. Um, they'll come assembled. This is just an example how it comes apart. Uh, this piece will go in, in here and then your diaphragm will go in there and then this will screw in. So if you have some reason rabbit hair or something gets into your water bucket and it comes through here and these start to leak or or they you know you're not getting water out of them just pull them apart it's real real quick check that this diaphragm I mean it's just a plastic washer with with three holes in it and uh, it's just easy to clean easy to take apart or some of the other ones aren't so easy um, so each of these will come with a nipple, two springs, and a T. And if you have any other questions, let me know. But this is just a quick video on that. So thanks.